Welcome to Talking Trash, and today we're going to be talking about recycling. So now how many people have seen the big blue bins around the county? I've had so many people tell me, they're everywhere, wherever I go there's big blue bins looking at me. That's a good thing for, from my point of view. Well, with the big blue bins we've been able to change the recycling a little bit in Becker County. If you use the big blue bins, Becker County now markets all those products and, and actually recycles those and so we're able to take a few more if you use the big blue bins throughout the county. And so um, if you remember we have the big blue bins we wanted to increase the capacity. The recycling sheds that we used to have were very small. They were about a seven yard capacity for the last 20 years and we said what can we do to increase that capacity to bring more recycling so that people can bring more recycling. And so we thought long and hard about it and designed these recycling sites, these recycling dumpsters. And with a 10 yard capacity for each commodity, plastic, paper, cardboard, metal, and glass. So you'll see at least five bins at each site. Kind of exciting. Actually, I think it's very exciting. But the, the one, really the big commodity that people had the most questions previously is plastics. What can I recycle with plastics. Plastics, previously we were only able to to take number one and number two. Guess what? I have, this is so exciting, I have some some news to tell you. We can recycle, if you use the big blue bins, you can recycle number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, and number seven. So. What do those numbers mean? Aha, we're going to have a little lesson in recycling numbers. Now, um, I'm going to try and this one has, is covered up with, uh, with, with actually printing on it, but there's a little symbol on the bottom. Let's see if that one's better. This one's great. This one has, you're looking for a little recycling symbol on the bottom of the bin, and this is only with plastic you're looking for this. There's a little triangle and then a number inside, and you're looking for a one through seven. This particular one has a number five. This is now recyclable. Yay! Also, cottage cheese, or this is uh, sour cream, but cottage cheese containers, margarine tubs, those are all recyclable. People have been saying, please, could we please recycle our cottage cheese containers? If you use the blue bins, they now can be recycled. So this is the example of some of the number fives, the number fours, that kind of thing. This is a number five also. This one is actually a recycled, um, a recycled plastic, but it's uh, heavy duty microwavable plastic. So previously we weren't able to recycle it. We can now because of the vendors we go to. We'll take this type of plastic. So this is a number five. Number one, this is a number two. It says right on the bottom. Very recyclable. Just rinse it out. We ask that you rinse everything out because we don't want any residues. If you had syrup in here, that would, in the summer, draw bees or bugs or that kind of thing. So we want to have as much as you can rinse it out. How about this? Milk, have you not rinsed out a milk jug? Pretty bad, huh? Smells really bad. So you want to basically pop the tops. Take the tops off. You can throw this in the bin, but throw them in separately. Can you imagine? Let's see, can I show you something here? When you recycle this and we want to bale this stuff, do you see much air coming out of there? It's really hard to bale these. There's a lot of air in here. But when you take the top off, it squishes down much more and you can get much more in a bale. So that's why we ask you to take the tops off. Pretty simple. Number one through seven, it can recycle. Put it in the recycling bin, we'll take care of it. You don't need to take the labels off. And just one little thing, no styrofoam, none of this. This now has to go into the trash, or has had to go into the trash. Please throw it away. Thank you.